you know, we talk about retirement markets uh, and, and one of the reasons for our market doing so well. Um, and, and I want to kind of go back to Linda a little bit because, you know, this is, this is one of those times of year when we do get that influx of population and that, that retiree uh, type market. Is there, you know, from a staging perspective, the whole point of, of staging is, is to capture that emotional response. Yes. And, and when you're looking to do that, do you, you know, if a home is like a potential retirement home or a vacation home or a beach home, I assume you guys are tweaking the staging to kind of incorporate that, that vision for the property. Yeah, that's actually what stagers do. We really pay attention to the buyer demographic, and that buyer demographic really allows us to design that home for that particular buyer. Again, it's always designed to appeal to the masses, but if it's an over 55 community, that house is going to look a little bit different than other homes that we stage. So you can get more information from Linda, showhomestampa.com. Another, another question for you, and I think this is kind of you know, something we talked about before, virtual staging. We're starting to get a lot of people pushing virtual staging on us, which is basically staging the photos. What are your thoughts about virtual staging? Yeah, I got to tell you, um, in the industry, that is not a very well received uh, form of staging for two reasons. It's kind of like we call it a bait and switch. You know, you're going to get your buyer excited, like pictures are nice, but they're going to get to the house. It is an emotional decision they make and they walk in that empty home and as Laura mentioned they're going to be immediately disappointed. That's one of the things that discourages me about it. I see some neat uses for it from a standpoint of um, you know certain types of properties but for the most part buying a home is highly emotional. Yes. It is so emo people do not understand most people are not making buying decisions on fact. They're making on emotion. Yes. And which is why, like, you know, we sometimes have our home seller clients that want us to uh, meet the buyer of the property and spew all the facts at them while they walk through the house and basically kill the emotion. That, that's like going on a date and, and, then, and then she whips out a resume within five minutes wanted to tell you where she went to school, what her GPA was. It ain't going to work, right? It's, you want to you have the emotion. You want to fall in love. Um, I didn't fall in love with my wife from her resume. Her resume is great. Don't get me wrong. But, but it's the same thing with a house. Very, very emotional. You want them to experience the home. You want them to fall in love with it. And virtual staging, you don't have that chance because no. they walk into an empty house. No, the photos are going to help them make the decision to see it. And then they're, they're going to be let down. They're not going to make the decision to buy it. They have to get in the house. They have to envision their family there. They have to be in love. I agree with you completely. We're going to be back after our news break. We're going to talk about Florida. Um, our, our population increases back, but some websites online are saying forget Florida for retirees. And uh, we're going to address that after a quick news break here on 970 WFLA.